How would you describe the future of work conference to someone who might have never gone? I would strongly recommend coming because it shows you that there's tons of opportunities that you wouldn't otherwise see. Yeah, I think the best part about it is you just meet a ton of people who are already in those industries, get to know a little bit about them and the work they do. Future of Work has been this amazing organisation run by the Graham Dingle Foundation, Marlborough District Council, and collaborated by many business organisations. All the high schools have been involved, which has given all these teenagers an amazing opportunity to see what their future careers can be. I'm going to be sharing a bit of my own story to help kids know that even if you feel like you don't have it sorted out right now, that's okay. And I think it's important that we kind of take that pressure off and go, actually, it's okay to have these conversations and to learn about things like workplace wellbeing before you get into the workplace. The amazing thing about this forum and this conference is Aorangatahi exposed to so many different things that it really it helps to trigger and really heighten that level of curiosity because they're able to just touch. One of the concepts that we have in Māori is, is called hōtutu, which often means um, you're constantly fiddling with something, but hōtutu is actually a, a pathway for you to actually understand and learn. And, and so I think that's one of the things that really stands out, to be able to see the, the manifestation of curiosity today. I think the world's changed a lot. You know, it used to be just make a paper CV, hand them out and give them to people and hope. Today's going to be about how can you make those opportunities for yourself, how can you build those relationships and that actually helps you get the opportunities that you want. I wish that I had something like this when I was 17 to make me feel seen. My job didn't exist when I was studying at uni or even when I really finished uni, so I've just been telling anyone who will listen today that your job might not exist yet, and that's okay. The whole of today, probably the keynote speakers, I've been quite motivational, like saying how they've come from Wood Blenheim and how they've made such a unique pathway. I like the fact that it's all interactive, so it gives you just like a little taste test of what you're getting into. It's made me feel a lot more confident and just really hopeful, and it's quite fun as well. We got to see what kind of university studies we can do, and they can talk about a wider range of things that some work sessions might not be able to talk about as in depth. So I'd highly recommend, even if you've been before, to come again. It changes every year and it's always really awesome and really well run by the organisers. So definitely come multiple times if you can. When I had things like this back when I was at school in Christchurch, I never saw myself in any of the speakers. There wasn't a lot of Pacific representation or even staff present. Today I saw lots of it and I thought, well done to you guys. Makes everyone feel like they belong. It's just cool that I'm from Blenheim and this is now happening in Blenheim. <laughs> the fact that you've managed to bring all these industries together is incredible, so I'm just excited.